Welcome back to the Red Shoe. I acquired this late 70s Technics SLB2 turntable recently. The previous owner told me it works pretty good, but it won't pick up, the tone arm won't pick up at the end of the uh, at the end of the record and return to the rest, which it's supposed to do. It's an automatic. Uh, and also, uh, as with most turntables of this era from Techniques, the hinge at, on the back of the dust cover breaks. And I'm going to show you how to repair these items in a couple of videos. Oh! So, for this part of the repair, I'm going to take the dust cover off and set it aside. And then we'll repair the spindle gear, which is bad, so that we can get the uh, tone arm lift and return to its rest. To do that, I'm going to have to take the platter off and take the bottom off the turntable. First, to, to get the platter off, you take the mat off and set that aside. Then we're going to remove the belt and just let that sit on the center of the platter. You lift the platter in two locations and off it comes with the belt stored. This is the spindle. This gear is attached to the spindle. It catches a dog and starts the tone arm to go back to its rest and shut off. This gear is cracked right here, so it, it doesn't work correctly. Uh, this, these parts have not been available from Technics for a long time, so I went to my local 3D printer guy down the road in Cherry Valley at 3D Wildcat Printing, and Mike made me one on a 3D printer. We're now going to remove the spindle to replace the nylon gear that's broken. In order to do that, I'm going to have to turn the turntable over and remove the bottom cover. To do that, I'm going to remove the cartridge and set that aside so it's not damaged and remove the counterweight on the turntable to give it kind of a lower profile and not so much weight on the turntable. Turn Tone I have a piece of two inch styrofoam that I'm going to put, attach. As a, as a spacer, there we go, and we'll flip it over and take it off, carefully setting it flat. As you can see, with the styrofoam spacer under the turntable, uh, the tone arm is not laying on the, the desk. We'll set the cover aside. This is where the uh, spindle is held in by this little screw right here. I'm going to loosen it and then we'll turn the turntable back over and remove the spindle. Now we're going to turn the turntable back over and remove the spindle. We're just gonna pull the spindle out and we'll remove this gear, which is broken. This crack in this gear is why it doesn't seat well on the spindle and it spins instead of staying stationary. So now I'm gonna press fit this new gear onto the spindle shaft. Uh, it presses on but it needs to be given a little tap just to get it to seat right. And now it's ready to be reinstalled. Now that we've uh, fitted this gear I'm going to reinstall the spindle and 
turn the turntable over and reinstall the bottom cover. So I'm going to tighten the spindle lock screw. You know, we loosened that to take the spindle out. And then I'm going to put the bottom cover on. And now I'm going to reinstall the platter and the belt. You remember we stored the belt on the platter itself. So I'm going to lift the belt out a little bit. Put my holder in there. Plug it in and see if we were successful. <laughs> 